This is part two of why I think that Bitwig is a very approachable and seamless DAW for the modular artist. Whereas last time we looked at modulators on devices on the track, in this video we're going to look at the grid. I have a similar setup as last time. I got one track and I have one clip that's a bar long and that one clip has a single note inside of it. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and add a device here, except instead of adding a, a software instrument or a note effect, I'm going to add a device called Polygrid. Polygrid is Bitwig's take on modular, I suppose you could say. Now, whereas software packages like VCV Rack or Cheriadu Voltage Modular try to effectively recreate the experience of your rack using software, Bitwig has taken a little bit of a different approach. All of the same concepts are there, but they've modeled and represented it a little different. And then as you can see, looking at this here, you can see we have something that looks like an oscillator something that looks like an envelope, and it's going into this device here, which turns out is audio out. So if I start the sequence in the DAW, we're basically opening the envelope. Now each envelope in Bitwig's grid is basically an envelope with a VCA combined. And so we're just gonna play this wave on through. You know, which by itself is it's okay. We can change out any of these for common other shapes. So for example, you know, and that's great. That's cool. Let me add an arpeggiator on there. So as with last time, any devices that we add both note effects before the grid and anything afterwards will uh, apply just as well. So, of course, a big part of this video is working with hardware Euro rack and the software, so let me show you how simple this can be. We do not currently have a filter here. Let's go ahead and add a filter between these two. I'm going to detach them. And we will route the oscillator out into our hardware. Let me patch this up. You can already see it's lighting up here. And there we go. We're getting pretty much exactly what we're seeing there in the software. So I'm going to patch that into the input of my filter. Then I will set up this envelope. Oh, wrong one. I'll set up this envelope to receive a signal back in. And we'll go ahead and pass that in on one as well. So I'll take the output from the filter. I'll we'll patch it into input port one. Cool. So we're actually doing a blend here where we have a software oscillator, we have a hardware filter, and then we have a software envelope and VCA. Now you might have noticed that there's these little dots that I've been using to connect things. If you mouse over any of the dots, you can see down, down over here, in the bottom left it'll tell you what it is. And so you can see this blue one is the envelope out. We can send that signal out to hardware. So I've added on here, this is a CV out. We'll go ahead and say, we'll send out the envelope signal on channel two here. Let me patch that up. So this signal now, this is going to be our envelope out. So there you can see we're getting that. And what we could do, no surprise, is we could send that over here to the filter and control the cutoff with that. exactly like you'd expect. There's a bunch of other devices uh, in this thing, a lot of crazy stuff. There's LFOs and there's various wave shapers. Of course there are filters. There's a bunch of things. I'm sure there's 
probably most of the fundamental aspects that you would expect. Both of these features of Bitwig, both the grid and modulators, I think just add a world of potential. In upcoming videos, I want to play with new ways of using software and hardware you're erect together to make some new interesting sounds. I'll see you then.